Hey people, this video is presented to you by Strange Learnings and today in this video we are going to talk about what are the things we need to do after the installation of Tor so that we can access through the dark web more proper and more with more safety okay so here we have installed our Tor browser you can install it by downloading from your official website okay so it takes some time to establish the connection through the Tor browser because it creates its uh, VPN or proxy networks or you can say bridge connections okay so we i have uh, already done some changes i will explain you all with that okay so here now it says connection is proper and this is secure to our browser page okay right now what is the thing is i will show you something which is much interesting okay so i will go to my blog which is strange learning dot blog spot dot com okay this is my blog and yeah we are inside it okay it takes some more time more time than regular internet because it passes through some more systems or proxies right okay you, you can see here right this is the tor circuit and this shows the network going all through okay so it's going through a tor circuit which is for which first goes to germany then united kingdom then germany and then it takes me to the website okay now if you are trying to skip the video i won't prefer to do that because half information is not good if you don't want to watch the video you can just take that okay so now uh, we also have a blog on our website which is uh, which provide you with the list of dark web websites okay you can access through that if you want to now uh, we were talking about this okay this was the connection now this is the normal connection okay we need to do some changes while we are on our tor browser okay make sure you are not on the full screen there is no major concern with that but the secondary thing is not a strong reason but keeping the window small basically websites can see your screen resolution and if you are having a different resolution than other users they can narrow down the search results that's why it's not recommended to run tor in full screen okay now the settings which are uh, done after the installation is like just go to this security level white okay this will straightly take to you the settings of the tor browser now here we have uh, some settings okay this is for privacy and security while make sure that every time you visit any dark web or uh, websites or any websites which are not permanent or uh, legally available then make sure after visiting you clear your data manage data and manage permissions well okay Make sure you don't have this permission enabled because this will this may save your passwords and make sure you clear history every time regularly and these are the permissions which you need to change like a tracing locations or anything like that okay make sure you clear with them I have already got an update with my Tor browser I haven't updated okay I will update it soon and make sure you don't use a Tor browser until it's updated okay it's very important to update it now this is the main thing which we are going to talk about in this privacy and security which is security level okay while you are trying to enter the deep web you need to sorry dark web we need to get it to the safest okay this is because this allows website features required for static sites and basic services okay these changes affect image media and scripts but it will keep you keep you more secure while you are surfing for the internet because the javascript is disabled and some fonts icon and myth symbols and images are disabled and also audio and video html media and webgl are click to play okay which means here yeah, they won't be played automatically and uh, that will make you more safe secure through the internet or through the dark web okay so this was the thing which we need to kind of change in the privacy and security then we have the tor settings okay now the thing which we need to do here right is we need to enable a bridge this will make a proper secure connections okay now you can create your own bridge or select your own bridge but uh, for now i am just uh, requesting a bridge from tor project okay so just request a new bridge and uh, you need to clear this captcha to do so okay so i will enter this captcha and we are done okay and just submit and then as soon as you submit it will take, uh, take some time and this is the bridge connection provided to you okay now you are on a bridge connection for proof we let's check out that okay we will back to our website and then refresh okay and then again check the connection okay now it says this is a bridge which is obsf oh sorry obfs 
4 okay with IP address which is this now you are on a bridge connection okay which means this is more secure than your previous one okay and also there are options for you to provide your own bridge or select a built-in bridge of your device or system which is available in Tails OS or um, Webinix okay now we have some advanced options like using your own proxies providing with IP port and username and passwords okay this will help you out to use your own proxies while using any uh, deep uh, sorry while entering any dark web website okay like if you want to be more secure like I am surfing for normal one I am not doing anything illegal then I don't need this okay but uh, in some situations you want more security like if you want to hire any hacker or hire whatever you are trying to do I can't mention that in the video YouTube will post a guideline community something like that okay so this you can use while uh, just enter the click on this and use your Proc choose your proxy type SOX5, SOX4 or HTTPS I prefer for H uh, SOX5 or HTTPS okay select anyone enter the IP address of or the host name of the proxy and then a port number okay of that proxy then set your username and password and it's optional you don't want then you don't need to okay so now there is a one more additional option which is a good to use but it's used on advanced levels if you are not good with uh, networks and uh, networking then it will be a bit tough for you to understand but hopes you understand this computer goes through a firewall that allows connection to certain ports okay now in this situations make this will make you more secure while uh, websites you surf for a website these websites use your port number to provide you with services okay so this will help you out to that uh, the website which you are trying to enter will only able to get through a single or any selected ports okay which you want them to enter this will provide you more safety and in that situations it will be really tough to get through the, your systems or get through your flaws okay so this was all you need to do after the installation of tor browser on your windows machine and also i will be making a video on installation of tor on Kali Linux or uh, Ubuntu okay till then stay connected and uh, one more thing that uh, you can use all the same settings on Kali Linux and Windows it will be same for that but if you are trying to use Tails operating system then that much uh, which we done here are not important okay because some of these options are pre-installed available on that and previously settled on that okay so if you like this video give a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to our channel for regular updates and uh, if you want to have an open discussions about these videos or these topics we have a telegram group which you will get uh, through an universal link below in our description box so if you want to join that you can join for sure and uh, share this video to everyone who needs to okay and uh, here are some dark uh, web uh, links to dark websites okay and deep web websites you can enter it but enter on your own risk i am not responsible for whatever happens after that and uh, maybe happen that some of the links are not working well because uh, the server are regularly coming up and going down okay so stay connected for regular videos thanks for watching the video